Hey guys, it's Leslie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to go over my January wrap up. So let's get into it. This month I actually read a lot of books. I think I read 16, which that's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot and I don't think I will be reading anywhere near that for the rest of the year and that's okay. I did have one graphic novel and then there's a, definitely a few shorter ones in here as well. So let's just go through them. I'm just going to give a quick, you know, my opinions or my thoughts on each one real shortly because this would take forever. And then the few that I did for the biannual bibliothon, I won't even really go over since I've already done a full wrap up of that. So I will give my star ratings and yeah, my feelings. The first book I finished in January was Lilac Girls by Martha Hall Kelly. And this is a World War II story following three women and sort of how their lives intertwine. And I liked it. I thought that it was all right. I gave it a three stars. And I feel like if you like World War II stories or historical fiction, you'll probably enjoy it. I just didn't find it as good as some of the others that I have read. So that was just middle of the road. The next book I read in the month of January is Paper Girls Volume 1. This is a graphic novel series and I could not even tell you what it's about. Like girls in the 80s who deliver papers and I think come across aliens. I found this really confusing. If graphic novels are really for me, that may be my problem. So if you have any good suggestions of graphic novels that are for beginners or dummies like me, leave them in the comments. And I gave Paper Girls three stars just because the artwork is really cool. The next book I finished in January was Bonfire by Kristen Ritter. This is a psychological thriller, sort of about a girl who comes home to a mystery in her hometown after being away for a few years. And I like this. As far as psychological thrillers, I can be picky on the twists and I didn't really figure it out. Like I don't think it was super obvious and I don't think that the the twist part ended up being like Oh, where'd that come out of left field? I liked how it tied up in the end and it was a quick read. It's not that long and I gave that four stars. The next book I read in January is a nonfiction book called The Reason I Jump by Naoki Hagashida. This is written from a, a kid's perspective of having autism. It's just him answering questions that people may have about autism and putting it into his own words, like how he thinks about things and how he feels about the world or why some things are more difficult for him than other people. And I found this really interesting. I think it gives a really good perspective on autism and to be a tiny pers bit personal, my two sons are both autistic. So for me, this gave a little bit of insight on the way they think and I really enjoyed it. So if you are curious about autism or have people in your life with autism that this may be something to give you a little more perspective and I gave this four stars. I also read Geekerella by Ashley Poston this month and this is a really cute contemporary it's just like a nerdy retelling of Cinderella and it was fun it was a really quick read I mean not anything groundbreaking but I found it really entertaining and I gave that four stars. I also finished The Titan's Curse by Rick Riordan and this is the third Percy Jackson novel and there's really not much you can say bad about these stories. They're middle grade and they're really fun. The characters are hilarious. It's definitely a read for somebody of any age. It's an accessible way to learn about Greek mythology which I find really fun. I gave this one four stars. I also finished Another Brooklyn by Jacqueline Woodson this month. This is an adult fiction story about a girl growing up in Brooklyn. This book is written sort of in this little one sentence sort of snippets and I found it really effective. Ja Jacqueline Woodson has a way of packing a punch in each sentence that she writes so I found it really engaging. I gave that four stars. I also read Always and Forever Lara Jean by Jenny Han. This is the third book in the To All the Boys I've Loved Before series. It's YA contemporary and it's just really cute. Lara Jean is just super innocent and her family actually gets along unlike a lot of YA stories and I don't know. I liked it. It was a good conclusion. I think I liked it better than the second book in the series so if you read the second and you were on the fence I think the third one's a little bit better and I gave that four stars. 
The next book I read in the month was The Emperor's Ostrich by Julie Berry. This is a middle grade book that I heard of from Sarah Without an H on her channel. I think it was on her best of 2017. And this is a really cute story. It's like a fairy tale sort of story, but it has like elements of, I would say like Mulan and sort of Shrek in a way. I don't know. I just found it really cute. I think anyone should read it. Middle grade is super underrated and I think we all need to change that. I gave that five stars. I also read The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. I listened to this on audio book and it was really good. It's just a cute, you know, your total uh, hate to love story about two people who work together and their relationship as the book progresses. And I really liked it. I thought it was funny. I just liked the voice of the main character. It was, it was fun. So that's a good read, five stars for that. After that, I went through all the books that I read through the biannual bibliothon, which were The Yellow Wallpaper by Charlotte Perkins Gilman. I gave that four stars. The Awakening by Kate Chopin, which I gave four stars. Otherworld by Jason Siegel and Kirsten Miller, which I gave four stars. And, and Three Wishes by Leanne Moriarty, which I also gave four stars. As well as A Small Charred Face by Kazuki Sakuraba, which I gave three stars. The last book I read in this month was Sleeping Giants by Sylvain Nouvelle. I listened to this on audiobook, which was really fun. It's kind of, it's a full cast. I'm not sure if I've ever listened to an audiobook with a full cast before, and I really enjoyed it. I think the story was pretty fun. About middle of the way through, I was getting, not really bored, but the conversations between the characters would sort of go on, like it's like the, they're arguing and they would sort of drag on in these conversations of, you're gonna do this, no I'm not, you're gonna do this, no you're not. So that part got a little tedious, but after that few sections, the kind of right up until the end got really interesting. So I am looking forward to reading the next book in the series. And I think if you're into audiobooks, that's definitely one to check out. And that is all of the books that I've read for the month of January. It was a really good month. Again, I don't know if I'm going to read as much as that in the next coming months. I am going on vacation at the very end of February. So I should be able to read quite a few while I'm away on a cruise ship, soaking up the sun. It's my favorite place to read. So looking forward to that. I hope that you had a successful reading month. Leave it in the comments if there's anything that I read that sound interesting to you or if you've read it, any comments or any suggestions of things that I may like based on what I like this month. Please make sure to subscribe. Bye!